Hi there, and welcome to our BA Solutions training series. Today, I will be showing you some typical faults of an IP CCTV system. I will also be showing you how to confirm these faults and possible solutions. Before we begin, please do well to subscribe to this channel. And if you enjoy this video, go ahead and smash the like button. Without wasting more time, come along and let's begin. One, PoE failure. For an IP CCTV system, the cameras are powered by PoE, whether it's from the NVR or it's an external PoE source. Sometimes, the internal PoE is unable to provide power for the cameras. This results in failure to provide footage. Similarly, this will also occur when the external PoE source fails to provide power for the camera. The best solution for this problem is to replace the NVR or PoE source, however, you can use an external power source to provide power to the cameras and let the NVR only provide the required network. This external power source could either be a power supply unit, power adapter, PoE adapter, or a PoE switch. 2. Faulty connectors. Sometimes due to weather and environmental conditions, sometimes rust and dust, bad contact or short circuit etc. may cause a connector to be faulty. The solution to this problem is to replace the faulty connectors. In some cases, just cleaning and refixing will be okay. After replacing it, ensure it is properly protected by proper insulation and place it in a junction box. 3. Breaking cables. There are many situations where this occurs. Sometimes when cables are not buried deep enough, gardeners could cut them unknowingly. Also, rats are a major culprit for this as they love chewing cables. And lastly, when the cable is not protected properly. Weather and environmental conditions may affect it especially low-quality cables. The best solution is to change the entire cable. However, if the breakpoints could be identified, the cable can be joined using a cable coupler and insulated properly. 4. IP address change. IP addresses of some cameras can sometimes change either due to DHCP settings or firmware upgrades or even unauthorized tempering, and this can cause signal failure. Most of the time, this happens when the PoE source is different from the NVR. The best solution for this is to adjust the IP address so that the NVR and camera are on the same network. You can use a PC with the app used for configuration of that camera brand that is SADP for Hikvision, Easy Tools for UniU, or Config Tool for Dahua to change the IP address. To do this, you must have a good understanding of IP addressing. 5. Faulty Hard Drive A faulty hard drive is also a typical occurring fault. Power fluctuation is one of the major causes of this problem. However, sometimes the drive develops bad sectors. This affects the NVR in different ways depending on the brand and model of the NVR. In some cases, the NVR will not come on, or it may try to come on but go off halfway, or it may come on but produce a constant error alarm indicating this fault. This can be seen on the NVR if it comes on. However, for other scenarios, you may need to remove the hard disk before powering the NVR to see if it comes on. The best solution is to replace the hard disk immediately. However, you can remove the faulty hard disk to check using a disk reader if the bad sectors can be repaired. 6. NVR or camera. Finally, the problem may be because the camera or NVR is faulty. This could be caused by a host of reasons, including power fluctuations, sabotage, or even component failure, etc. The best solution in this case is to replace the NVR or camera. However, you can contact your local CCTV installer to provide other options. In summary, you need to troubleshoot the highlighted components when your IP CCTV system is faulty. Also, in order to avoid most of these problems, ensure your camera cables and connectors are properly covered and insulated. Also, ensure you have a backup power source with automatic voltage regulation to avoid failure due to power fluctuations. And lastly, contact a professional and sign up for maintenance today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share.